I've just come into the room of one of the industry's real stars, Ivana Manley. Ivana, how are you? Hi, how's it going, world? Nice Great to, to see, see you, you. Nice in to 2016. See you Here we are at CES in Las Vegas at the Venetian. What we have to show the world debuting today at the show is our new Manly headphone amplifier. Cool, let's go look. Come on down and I'll show it to you. Okay, great. Here we go. Excuse me, guys. Let me come and uh, show the world our new headphone amplifier here. Okay, what do we got? Well, it's an all-tube design. It's like a little push-pull amplifier. It's like a little baby stingray almost. Although there's a, a lot of cool features. You can switch the topology from single-ended to push-pull. It's got variable feedback. You've got a three impedance range uh, switch here, so you can drive any of your headphones uh, up, uh, you know, from 50 ohms up to 600 ohms. How about that? You've Great. got bass and treble controls, tone controls. Mm -hmm. um, it's an all to signal path, bounce control, volume control, mute. This thing even works as a preamplifier, so you can uh, come in with your analog <coughs> inputs and you can listen to headphones or you can route the output to your favorite power amplifiers, hopefully they're manly tube amplifiers, and your speakers. <laughs> um, this thing sounds so awesome. It's uh, it's so exciting to uh, hear a product for the first time after all you know months of hard work prototyping and getting everything together, and we're so excited to show the world this today. It really sounds great, and we'll have the shipping hopefully in the summer uh, 2016. Retail price is going to be approximately around three grand. We're going to offer it in these three cool finishes. We've got a copper finish over here. Let's take a look at that. That looks pretty stunning. It sure does. We're going to play around with the actual copper in final production. We've got this titanium in uh, black version here, and then we have this kind of champagne and white version here that's really very pretty as well. As you'll notice, the chassis design is really cool because it holds your headphones yeah, up I off like your that. desk. Yeah, like that. Yes, off know? the desk. Yeah, it's so, very practical. So they're not and, um, flopping around. Yep. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, here we go. We're getting into the headphone market, and I uh, hope you all will follow us there. We sure will. Well, thank you very much for the walkthrough. Great. You've done a great job over the years. And can we take one look at the Stingray before yeah, we leave? Yeah, Stingray. Let's. I want to look at that thing because I think this is one of the coolest things ever made. Oh my by God. any audio designer. Ow! <laughs> well, here we are with the Stingray. Stingray, the first version of the Stingray I did in 1997. Has it been that? Oh, gosh. That was the first version, the skinnier one. And then we did, the next version was this one with the iTube, the iTube Stingray, which um, had the uh, iPod dock on it. This is now, this one with the dock is actually out of production right now, but we just brought, brought one because we had one show. handy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still make it just without the dock because that dock is obsolete at this point. It's got, um, you know, four different inputs. Uh, it's got a radio frequency remote control. You can work, you can use this thing all over your house to command it. Um, I've got one of these in my living room. Uh, in my dining room, sorry, in my dining room for dinner parties. It's just, it's just great to have music in the house and sharing that with friends. Well, it's great to uh, see you. It's really great to be, really honored to film you. Uh, Thank you. We've uh, been fans for so many years. Thank you so much. We love your work and uh, wish you the best of best in 2016. Congrats on the headphone amp. Thank you very much, and uh, look forward to seeing you all around the world. Come Good. On. See you. Thank you, Vanna. Cheers.